Hi and welcome to the session. I'm Kanika and I'm going to help you to solve the following question. The question says a diet for a sick person must contain at least 4000 units of vitamins, 50 units of minerals and 1400 units of calories. Two foods A and B are available at a cost of rupees 4 and rupees 3 per unit. Respectively, if one unit of A contains 200 units of vitamin, one unit of mineral and 40 units of calories, one unit of food B contains 100 units of vitamin, two units of minerals and 40 units of calories, find what combination of foods should be used to have the least cost. We will solve this question by using corner point method. This method is based on the fundamental extreme point theorem. This theorem states that the optimal solution to a linear programming problem, if it exists, occurs at an extreme point of the feasible region. So, in corner point method, we have to first find the feasible region of the linear programming problem. Then we have to find the coordinates of each vertex of the feasible region. And at last, we have to evaluate the value of the objective function at each corner point, which we have obtained in previous step. If the problem is of maximization, then the solution corresponding to the largest value of z is the optimal solution of the LPP, and the value of z is the optimum value. But if the problem is of minimization, then the solution corresponding to smallest value of z is the optimal solution of the linear programming problem and the value of z is the optimum value. The knowledge of this method is the key idea in this question. Let's now begin with the solution. In this question, we want to find the combination of foods A and B which should be used to have the least cost. So let number of units of food A be X and Number of units of food B B Y. Now we will make a table of the information given in the question. So let's make a table now. We are given that one unit of food A contains 200 units of vitamin and one unit of food B contains 100 units of vitamin. Food A contains one unit of mineral and two units of mineral are contained in food B. Food A contains 40 units of calories and food B contains 40 units of calories. Cost of food A is rupees 4 per unit and cost of food B is rupees 3 per unit.
Now read the first statement of the question. It says a diet for a sick person must contain at least 4000 units of vitamins, 50 units of minerals and 1400 units of calories. So this means minimum requirement of vitamins is 4000 units of minerals is 50 units and of calories is 1400 units. Now according to this table we will express x and y as linear inequation. Now look at the first row. One unit of food A contains 200 units of vitamin and one unit of food B contains 100 units of vitamins. Right. So, X units of food A contains 200 X units of vitamin and Y units of food B contains 100 Y units of vitamin. Thus, X units of food A and Y units of food B contains 200 X plus 100 Y units of vitamin. Now the vitamins contained in the diet should not be less than 4000. So 200 X plus 100 Y is greater than equal to 4000. Now this implies 100 into 2x plus y is greater than equal to 4000. This implies 2x plus y is greater than equal to 40. So this is our first inequation. Now look at the second row. Now according to this row, X units of food A and Y units of food B contain X plus 2Y units of minerals. Also the minerals should not be less than 50 units. Therefore, X plus 2Y is greater than equal to 50. This is our second inequation. Now according to third row, X units of food A and Y units of food B contain 40X plus 40Y units of calories. And the diet should contain at least 1400 calories. Therefore, 40X plus 40Y is greater than equal to 1400. This implies 40 into x plus y is greater than or equal to 1400. This implies x plus y is greater than or equal to 35. As x and y cannot be negative, therefore x is greater than or equal to 0 and y is also greater than or equal to 0. So we have formed three inequations according to the given constraints. Now we will find the objective function. Cost of one unit of food A is rupees 4 and cost of one unit of food B is rupees 3. So, cost of X units of food A and Y units of food B is rupees 4X plus 3Y. So cost function Z is equal to 4X plus 3Y and we have to minimize 
this cost. So, the mathematical formulation of the linear programming problem is minimize Z equals to 4x plus 3y subject to the constraints also greater than equal to 0. Equation corresponding to in equation 2x plus y greater than equal to 40 is 2x plus y equals to 40. Equation corresponding to this is x plus 2y equals to 50. Equation corresponding to this in equation is x plus y equals to 35. Points of intersection with x axis and y axis of this line are 0, 40, 0, 40, 0, 40, 0, 40 20, 0. Points of intersection with x axis and y axis of this line are 0, 25, 50, 0. Points of intersection with x axis and y axis of this line are 0, 35, 35, 0. As the point 0, 0 does not satisfy all these inequations, therefore all the points above these lines satisfy this inequations. So keeping this in mind, let's now draw the graph. Let's now draw the lines. First line is 2x plus y equals to 40. This line passes through point 0, 40. This is point 0, 40 and 20, 0. Join these two points. This is the line 2x plus y equals to 40. Now we will draw the second line. Points of second line are 0, 25, 50, 0. Join these two points. So this is the line x plus 2y equals to 50. Now we will draw the third line. Points are 0, 35 and 35, 0. Let's now join these two points. This is the line x plus y equals to 35. Now we will find the feasible region. The shaded region is the feasible region. So here, feasible region is unbounded above and the lower corners are zero forty. This point we can obtain by solving equation 2x plus y equals to 40 and 
x plus y equals to 35 simultaneously. On solving this equation, we get this point as 530. This point is 2015. We have obtained this point by solving equation x plus 2y equals to 50 and x plus y equals to 35 simultaneously and 50, 0. By the corner point method, we know that minimum value of z will occur at one of these points. So now we will calculate value of z at each of these points. The first point is 0, 40. z is equal to 4x plus 3y. On substituting x as 0 and y as 40, we get 120. Second point is 530. Now z is equal to 4x plus 3y. On putting x as 5 and z as 30, we get 110. Third point is 2050. On putting x as 20 and y as 50, we get 125. Fourth point is 50, 0. On putting x as 50 and y as 0, we get 200. So minimum value of z is 110 at the point 530. So minimum cost is one hundred ten rupees when units of food A to be used is five and units of food B to be used is thirty. This is our required answer. So this completes the session. Bye and take care.